let's face it, being Greek equals hairy. Yes. Um, I mean, I shaved my legs, like, I'm not even going to show you. I shaved my legs maybe, like, a couple of days ago, and it's like, hair's coming back, yo. I will deal with that later. <laughs> okay, so another part of my wonderful grooming as a Greek uh, is um, the wonderful eyebrow attachment, which happens. I don't know if you can see that. Can I'm going to get really close and personal, so beware. Beware of hairy Greek. Let's take this off. All right, can you see that I have a few hairs that grow in between my two eyebrows? Now, oh gosh, I take, I can't see anything, so I take care of that. Um, what, tweezers, um, sometimes a little bit of, you know, mostly tweezers, actually, to tell you the truth, because there's not many that happen there. Um, but I got a request for tape removal. And why not choose green, because why not choose green? My favourite football team in Greece is green. Shout out Panathinaikos. Okay, let's see. I'm going to cut it so I don't... Because I don't want to pull off my entire eyebrow. <laughs> that was not the puppet request. So I ain't doing that. All right, so this tape should probably be able to rip. Yeah, okay, so let's see how good that is. That looks pretty good. Okay. So as we can see, it is completely wide on the back and now we're going to just make sure I get it straight or I'm gonna look like I have funny eyebrow problems and we're going to rub it in so it gets all those little hairs Greek grooming it is joyous being Greek I love being Greek actually but it is, you know, not Greeks are not the only ones that are hairy. But um, I know the men get affected with hairy backs in countries like Greece and other countries. Um, and women just get hair. And I actually love hair. I actually am a big fan of hair. Um, big puffy hair on my head. No, I really do. I like it. I don't, I don't think I have, like... I'm not because I have the Australian in me, too. I don't think I have the true, true... Um, Greek part of the hairy Greek that is a little bit too much sometimes um, and needs a lot of attention. Most like I get this little thing in my eyebrows, you know, we're going to be honest. We're going to be honest with each other. That's what I do, right, on this blog. Honesty, honesty. Um, I get, you know, I have to shave my armpits, obviously. I've got to shave my legs. I get a little bit sometimes of hairy, a little couple of bits of hair on my um, big toe, which is interesting. Um, and the nether regions has to be dealt with, absolutely. Bikini waxes are annoying. Um, yeah, so I have to deal with it, absolutely. <clears throat> Leg hair, bikini line, and here are really my major... Um, only because you can see them, and I'm a, I'm a tan, I'm a bikini girl, so, you know, you you got to take care of that. And I don't really care that much to take care of it all the time, to be honest. Okay. Honesty is key. All right, here we go. I think I've rubbed that in. So now I'm going to not only exfoliate a little section of my T-zone, but let's hope I get rid of some hair after all this. All right, rip it off like a band-aid, yo. No pain, no gain. No pain, no game. And go. <sighs> There's a bit of black. It's definitely red. Feel the band-aid effect. There's some black. I don't know if you can see that. Look, there you go. Look, you can see the black look black. A little bit. Not much, though. So that didn't work as much as I had hoped. This is quite strong uh, gaffer tape, but perhaps I need something stronger than that. I thought this was going to be the strongest. I mean, I did. It really did get some. Oh, look, there's more up here. Look, there's more up here. Can you see that? No, because it's crappy light. I would say it took out quite a few little hairies. But there are still quite a few left there. <laughs> so perhaps gaffer tape is not the answer to your Greek grooming. But anybody else got a suggestion you'd like me to try?
so that I can separate my eyebrows fully. Bring it. Request me to do so for you and for me and for the general public. 